Hi friends, uh, today we will learn how we you can implement a gesture handler, handler into your uh, React Native application. So I tried to implement it with React Native Gesture Handler package, which is too complicated, too many functions, too many configurations there. So I created this simple React Native Swipe Gesture Handler uh, NPM package, which you can install very easily by just running a command yarn add um, React Native Swipe Gesture Handler, or if you use NPM, you know, whichever works for you. Uh, once you install it, just import it into your application. And then the next step is you have to create a function which actually passes the action which your user are doing on your application. And you can either use an if else statement here by comparing the, the action with left, right, up, or down. Or you can just use a simple switch. You know, it just doesn't matter whichever way you want to do it. And then obviously you can call your uh, functions inside this actions to you know implement the functionality for your application. Okay, so once you implement this function into your app, uh, what you have to do next is you have to uh, actually create a gesture, uh, a swipe gesture um, a wrapper around your view or any other component. And then just pass on this prop uh, with it the function which we created just now here and this will just um, detect the gesture and then pass it back to the parent uh, function which will help you to detect uh, the gesture and then ultimately implement the action so here i have implemented this news app it's very simple you know bunch of news articles and i am swiping up and then it is calling uh, a function which sets the context and the uh, the index for the uh, list so this is how I'm detecting the gesture here um, and you can see in the console here also when you do the gesture handling it prints uh, the function so like right swipe or if you know when I go back let's say uh, if I go back and then left swap it also uh, calls the ref left swap and right swap here uh, I still have to figure out the transition side but I'll do that later uh, so yeah, with this simple package, you can implement the gesture handling into your application very, very simply by just Im importing it and utilizing it into your application. If you have any questions, queries, or any doubts, and if you find any bug, just give me a shout in the comment box below. Um, if you, uh, you know, uh, like this video, just give me a like, thumbs up, um, and then uh, subscribe to the channel. Cheers.